And I know that photography played a big role in your life as well. Do you want to tell yes. us a little bit about well, that? Um, actually, uh, Joyce and Keith Cole had met some people. They were quite keen with their photography. And they had met some people from Foothills Camera Club in Calgary. Right. And they encouraged them to get a camera club started in CB. And uh, so Joyce and Keith talked to a bunch of us and we thought this would be a great idea. And most of us had not been serious about it at all up right. until then. I mean, we took pictures like everybody does. But that was all. And uh, then they, uh, while we were talking about forming the club, uh, the Stampede City exhibition was coming up and uh, again uh, we were persuaded to enter pictures mm -hmm. into the competition in there and uh, a couple of us got acceptances. We thought, gee, we didn't know we were that good. <laughs> and, yeah. and we got very enthusiastic about all this mm -hmm. and uh, we joined, uh, after the club was formed, we joined uh, the Color Photography Association of Canada. <laughs> we organized our club in 1959. Yes, yeah. So, well, first interest was 58, but it wasn't really going till 59, I guess. And. Uh, it was then the CB Camera Club. The CB Camera Club, okay. yeah. And after several years, uh, we were getting people, we even had people from Lake Louise coming down to our meetings. Oh, is that right? And, um, and people from Cochrane. And people from Banff, of course. And people from Banff, yes. So we said, well, this is silly calling it the CB Camera Club, and we were also alternating our meetings between the CB Community Hall and the Spray Community Hall up here. Mm -hmm. And um, so we changed it to the Bow Valley Camera Club. And we did very well. We entered all uh, the national competitions and so on. And uh, some of us started exhibiting in the salons. And, and uh, one time, I. I remember, it shows you the attitudes of some people. We were doing very well. Mm -hmm. And one year, we came third in Canada for our nature photography. Wow. And one of the guys says, you may remember uh, Bill DeHaan? Yeah. Yeah. One of the guys says, what's the use? We're never going to win. And here we'd won against the Toronto Guild and the Hamilton Camera Club and all the great big clubs with two and three hundred yeah. members, you know. Yeah. And here were we with about twenty odd members. <laughs> yeah. But you had the good resources. And you were scenery. that's about the time you would have joined in the yeah. in the seventy sixties was I didn't come here till seventy five. Seventy five was it? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So you were only in it for three years then, because yeah. we, unfortunately, those of us who had been uh, doing all the work for 20 years, the, the Coles and the Atkinsons and the, and uh, Bill DeHaan and, and, the Smiths. That, that, and the Smiths, were getting pretty tired of it. I mean, it was to the point where we were Okay, I was president last year, I'll be competition chairman this year, just for a change, you know. <laughs> and we were switching around, and we kept saying to other people, you know, why don't you get into it? Oh, we don't know how to do it. Well, neither did we when we started. <laughs> and we'll, we'll tell you what to do. No, nope, no results. So finally Bert. And uh, um, Michael Vincent. Came forward and said they'd go on the, the executive, which was very nice. Except that you became the the uh, family 
social services social guy. services yeah. guy in Canmore. So who's busier in the evenings? <laughs> yeah. So that did it for for Bert, and then uh, Michael Vincent ended up teaching the adult uh, art classes, adult education right. classes, on Camera Club night. And we said, that's it. <laughs> so we had just bought this house. We'd been in it for two weeks. It was at the end of November. And uh, so in the middle of December, we had the camera club Christmas party here. And it was also our farewell party to, for the camera club. And everybody parted friends. And. Uh, we had no club equipment. No Whoever way. was showing slides brought their own, own projector and screen and so on. We didn't have anything to get rid of. And uh, then um, that sort of was the, the end of the poor old camera club. And uh, then the next thing was that uh, they started the Canmore Artists and Artisans Guild here. So I was talking to them. They had, it wasn't that at the time, but a bunch of the artists and photographers here had gotten together and put this show on at the seniors. That's right. And uh, I was there talking to them, and I said, Well, you know, I don't do my own printing or, oh, that doesn't matter. It's the picture that counts and so on, you should join the, this club we're starting. And so Mary and I both said okay and did. And um, that was when the guild started. Interesting. And uh, so we personally didn't miss the camera club very much after that. But we had never had prints no, we, made. There's so always we were just been getting our prints made in Calgary. Yeah, great. And we did a number of uh, instructional yeah. programs that yeah. we gave to different. And you gave showings in the on the app of the, in the CAG. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you know talks on composition and all that kind of stuff. But this was not at CAG. This was back when the camera club was well yes but we did some of that early early years in CAG too.